welcome to Business On Course. Today, we're not going to keep you here in India. We're going to take you straight to Spain, to La Manga, where the finals of the Take Solution World Corporate Challenge. For that, how was it? Who won? Who lost? What were the sort of challenges through the game? All of that. My colleague Kanika joins me for that. Kanika, it's over to you. Thanks, Shelly. On this show, Business on Course, we've taken you to some of the best golfing destinations in the country and in the world. But this one arguably beats all the rest. Impossibly azure skies, free-flowing great wine, and your choice of impeccable greens around a blue lagoon. Bienvenido a La Manga, España, playground of the rich and famous. There are more golf courses than roads here, but we are taking you to the best of the best, the golf course at the La Manga Club. This is the world's top destination for corporate golf, as venue of the World Corporate Golf Championship. The next three days promise top quality golf and much cheerful banter as corporate golfers from 17 countries gather to participate in this year's tournament. Seeing them all decked out in their country's uniforms, practicing shots, one can't help but wonder, God must love golfers, he made so many of them. with us here, Jose Manuel, the CEO of OM Sports. Thanks so much for joining us, Jose. I'm very happy to be here. First of all, how is this WCGC Cup different from the other amateur events that we have here? Well, the thing that defines most the tournament is being a corporate event. Uh, it's done with companies all over the world. It, was, it started in 1993 in the UK and in 1996 it became an international event. And it goes in something like 25 countries and people always represent a company. And uh, they get uh, qualified for a world final in their own countries and they get the chance of playing a world final in uh, very nice environments like uh, La Manga Resort. Well, dealing with corporates must come with its own share of challenges. I mean, they're all over the world, big egos maybe, big hassle. How do you deal with it? No, I really don't, don't think that's a problem because uh, golf is a very democratic sport. When you get uh, to play a golf tournament, uh, everybody is basically the same. And the handicap system helps with that because mm -hmm. all, all we have to be worried about is to play to our own level or better than that if possible. And um, the Eagles, I think they, say they stay in the locker rooms and everybody's trying to have a good score if possible, if not have a good play. The main thing for most of the people mm -hmm. is to enjoy themselves in the tournament and to have something to bring home as a memory. And in, in the world final, we are uh, sure that that is going to happen. No matter what, we have 17 countries participating, only one can be a champion. But uh, I think that the other 16 teams will, will have a memory forever. It's also uh, an experience for them because it's the possibility really that they have to represent their own country. And as an amateur player, you don't get many chances like that. So besides being playing for that company, they're playing for their own country also. And that's a responsibility, but that's also a, a big honor. So tell us in detail a little bit, what goes into the preparation of this event from your side? Well, in here I'm the event director, so um, my main job doesn't have much to do with preparing the tournament in infrastructures and all that. We have other people responsible for that, or contacts with um, with um, with the licenses. I only take care of the sporting parts of the event, and my main uh, responsibility is that uh, everything is done within the rules of golf. Cuba.com.